Hello Providence College hockey fans, I'm Nick Rojas. The Friars ended their second to last series of the regular season in dramatic fashion, winning Friday night's contest after tying it up with eight seconds to go in the third period before moving on to beat the UMass Minutemen in overtime. Saturday night's game also had a flair for the dramatics as well, as that one also needed overtime to decide a winner. The Friars now finished off the 2014-2015 regular season with a pair of games against the visiting Maine Black Bears. Today's episode will preview that matchup, plus take a look at some of the highlights from the UMass series. Let's start the show. Hi, I'm Brian Penno, and you're watching This Week in Friars Hockey. The Friars and Minutemen squared off in two hockey's battles this past weekend. Brandon Tanev opened up the scoring on Friday night for Providence with his quick release wrister off the faceoff as he gets the Friars on the board with the score tied 1-1 to -one midway through the first. Meanwhile, on defense, John Gillies had 23 saves on the evening on his way to another win. Despite that, UMass took a 2-1 lead into the final minute of the play, and with an empty net, it was the veteran stepping up for the Friars as Captain Ross Merriman puts away the rebound with 8 seconds to go in the third period to tie things up and send it into overtime. Fast forward to a couple minutes into the extra period, Nola Chari's initial pass to Shane Luke doesn't get in. Nick Saracino gets only a piece of it on his stick, but Achari follows up on this play and scores the game-winning goal in sudden death overtime as the Friars win the first game of the weekend, 3-2. The next night up in Amherst, Massachusetts, the Friars found themselves in another deficit late in the third period, but for the second night in a row, they found a way to tie it. Nolachari on the nice feed from Shane Luke gets the goal and crashes into the boards. The Friars tie things up at one. But in the overtime period on Saturday night, the Friars could not conjure up the same magic they had the previous night as the Minutemen just edged them out. Two to one was the final. We're joined now in the office with head coach Nate Lehman. Coach, how are you today? Good. All right, so this past weekend's game, is a, it's a good representation of how every game towards the end of the regular season gets harder. These two games really close going to overtime, fun games for the fans. Uh, what were some of your observations from the series against UMass? Well, I mean, obviously it's, uh, it was a hard-fought series. Um, you know, I thought, uh, we did a, I thought we played pretty well uh, both games. We just really struggled finishing, and our power play uh, struggled. So um, I thought the games were a lot closer than they probably – should be when you when you look at other stats and things as far as shots and possession time and and things like that but um but yeah i mean it gets harder and harder to score uh you got to find different ways to score um one thing you know being is we need to get our power play going mm. and two games here to end the regular season right here in shine arena what do you want to see out of your team before the postseason begins um you know i, I like the way we're playing defense I, I think we can sharpen up a little bit um you know, I just I, I want to see us scoring. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, just get our confidence back for for scoring goals. I mean, you know, it's we're funny we're a funny team. Like I believe we can score goals. I know we can score goals. Um, you know, it seems like when we get the first goal in the game, things really get rolling for us. Um, so, you know, I, I just I want to see us. Uh, you know, scoring goals. I want us to get our confidence back. I want us to get our power play going. I think our penalty kill can sharpen up also, get a little bit more aggressive. Um, so those are things that, you know, we're kind of focused on is getting some guys like Mingoya going, getting Janko going. Uh, Ross seems to be going now. Knowles going. Uh, uh, Saracino's going. But, you know, you're going to need your horses down the stretch. So we want to get everyone going. And your opponent for this weekend series is Maine Black Bears. They come into this game winning three of their last four games. What do you do to slow them down as they come here? Um, you know, the big thing, the big thing really is just making sure that we play our game. That's what I'm focused on right now is that, uh, we play our game, we get to the net, um, we take advantage of, uh, of playing good defense in, in our transition. They're a great forechecking team. They, they forecheck two guys hard and then lock off one side of the ice and, you know, you need to manage that well. And if you can manage that well and get out of the zone, um, you can make them play defense a lot. So, um, that's, you know, that's really what we're focused on. All right, Coach, good luck this weekend. Thanks, Nick. Joined now by freshman forward Brian Pinto. Brian, how are you? Great. How are you? I'm doing all right. So last minute of that game on Friday night against UMass, you guys are down a goal there. What's kind of the vibe on the bench? You guys have been in some tight games all the, all season and had some success. Uh, what was the, the vibe there? Uh, well, I think 
before heading into the third period, we were discussing in the locker room just obviously we have been in some tight games and we've been fortunate enough to pull through and um, I think obviously Ross scored the last goal so the leadership was uh, out to play that game and I think all the our, some of our vet veteran guys like the juniors and seniors really played well the last four or five minutes and we were able to come out with the win. Now you guys have played a few overtime games this year. It's a lot of fun for fans, but it's really you know, tense there on the ice. You had a game winner yourself early on in the season against Ohio State. Uh, how important is getting some of this overtime success uh, in the regular season as you head into the postseason? Well, I think it just shows that we can win in a tight game or uh, when, we need to, when we need to win and strap down and uh, play our best. It shows that we can pull through and get the win. Every team is trying to get better, especially towards the end of the season. What are some of the things you guys are working on in practice this week? Uh, I think just improving our all-around game. Um, we need to be, make sure we're really focused in on like our system play and scoring goals and playing good defense, and hopefully that will all play out in the playoffs for us. Absolutely. Well, we wish you luck there. Now, Oscars this past Sunday, Birdman was named Best Picture, but you get the final say. What do you think was the best movie that came out last year, or your favorite at least? Uh, I definitely Interstellar. Interstellar? Yeah. <laughs> Great. I mean, the music in that was awesome. Yeah. Uh, it was a good movie. I mean, perfect movie for seeing in theaters, too. I mean... A little long, but... Oh, of course. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you have to take naps in movies. That's yeah. no big deal. All right, well, thank you so thank much, you very much for joining us on the show today. Good luck. He's Brian Pinto. The Friars end the season with two home games at Shiner Arena against the Maine Black Bears Friday and Saturday night. Maine comes into the contest in 8th place with a record of 8-10-2 in Hockey East play, so they'll be coming in hungry for a chance to finish 500 in conference play. This is shaping up to be another close matchup for the Friars, as they are just a hundredth of a goal behind the Black Bears in terms of goals per game. The Friars look to score at least a hundredth of a goal more in this weekend's games, as they might have a chance of doing so when they face Maine goaltender Matt Morris who despite winning three of his last four games starting in the net for the Black Bears, has given up at least three goals in each of those games. For both teams, it's a chance to grab some momentum before heading into the conference tournament. And that's going to wrap up today's episode of This Week in Friars Hockey. Both of this weekend's games start at 7 p.m. right here in Schneider Arena. Friday night's game is John Gilly's mini goalie stick night for the first 1,000 fans in attendance, so make sure you show up early, you know you want one of those. Saturday night's game is senior night here at the rink, Friars are going to be thanking their four senior members of the team, Ross Merriman, Shane Luke, Mark Adams, and Stefan Demopoulos for their time here at Providence. For all information about tickets and what's going on this weekend, you can always follow the team on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, or you can head to Friars.com. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. We'll be back next week to look back at the 2014-2015 regular season. For Friars.com, I'm Nick Rojas.